Hi. Hi. How you doing? Uh, we're doing good. Tell me who, why you're here and what's up and that kind of thing. I'm here because GMOs are poisoning us and everybody is all focusing on Monsanto and they keep forgetting about Syngenta. It's very le much less known. People it's very much less known. That's right because, well, Monsanto is responsible for 90% of the GMOs, so they deserve the rap they have, but Syngenta is just as bad. Example right here. This morning, the uh, GM of Syngenta in Hawaii, the president, wrote a letter to the Star Advocate. Advertiser, Honolulu Star Advertiser. Oh, I missed that. But he signed it as the president of the Hawaii Crop Improvement Association. Uh -huh. Yeah, he neglected to mention that he's also the general manager for uh, for Syngenta Seeds. So um, he says that anti-GMO activists refuse to debate scientific research. We have a ton of research. There's a reason it's been banned in 30 countries and labeling is required in 50. It's just, um, it's absolutely ridiculous. I think that we should all write to this editor. Um, and tell them all the research that we have in 120 words or less, and that this guy is the president of Syngenta who wrote this uh, on the morning of a Syngenta demonstration. Trying That's to, interesting. To yeah. Diffuse thing. Well, you know, the Hawaii Crop Improvement Association, that sounds like a pretty uh, good kind of organization. What are, what are they like? Who are they? Uh, the Hawaii Crop Improvement Association is made up of GMO companies. Um, Fred Perlack was the former president. He's still on the website. Perlack so. is uh, Monsanto. Perlack is, is the director of Monsanto. That's right. He's the president of Monsanto in Hawaii. And so now this guy's the new president, Alicia Malua-Fiti, um, who is a GMO lobbyist who's working for Monsanto through the communications for a long time. Also, the executive director of Hawaii Crop Improvement. Oh, Association. she's a registered state lobbyist for the biotech. Industry. Yeah, she absolutely is, and so is this guy. He's um, they're just in complete denial. You know, they're really drinking that GMO Kool Aid. But well, I, they get paid to drink it. They do, they do, and they don't understand their lab rats too. You know, um, they may have banned GMO food in uh, Monsanto's cafeterias, but there are still these people that are working on these fields every day. Uh, they're being poisoned worse than anybody, you know. And I hate to think what the fortune of their soul, you know. No, you got a, you have like a, a mask on. What, what, what is the deal with that? Well, uh, the last time I protested GMOs was at Monsanto and Kenia two weeks ago. We had respiratory masks. However, I kept taking it off to yell and talk, and um, and I got totally poisoned by pesticides. I, I live a pretty clean lifestyle. I eat a lot of real food. Um, I don't use too much chemicals and anything, and so the exposure was so intense. I literally had huge lumps in my lymph nodes um, wow. that had to drain out, and uh, and so I really don't want to be poisoned. So I'm wearing this as much as possible. Uh, while still being heard, because this is toxic. I mean, there's homes out here. There's pesticide drift. It now, travels and poisons not only the soil but people as well. There is a lawsuit going on on Kauai about the uh, people that, from the people that live next to uh, a uh, GMO kind of uh, farm, and the, the the dust that that comes off of that, of course, has to be loaded with the herbicides and pesticides that are being used there. So. It is. It is they actually uh, poisoned an elementary school. Syngenta poisoned an elementary school on Kauai. And uh, we got to stop this nonsense. Stop poisoning people. It's, it's really out of control. So Great. this is actually um, the letter to the editor from the president okay. of Syngenta posing as the president of Hawaii Crop Improvement Association. Um, this is the press release that Council Member Tom Berg, who I work for now, since he is the only politician fighting his face off to get GMOs, at least in a warehouse. You know, don't do these open air experimental field trials. It's not fair to the rest of us. I did not consent to be a lab rat! That's right! Neither did that guy. That guy don't want to be a lab rat either. So um, he actually went ahead and let all the press know about this. He's got a couple resolutions. One, to ban the planting of GMO crops in Hawaii. That's resolution 12-1. 130, 12-130. Yes, amend the land use ordinance. We need these people to put it inside. Okay. Put it in a warehouse, honey! Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, you got to keep it light when you are fighting people who really don't care that they're poisoning you, who are like Boy, they don't. across they the have, street. They really like, don't. ha, 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 this is, it's so funny how you're poisoning people. Wow. We're talking you're to like those people across the street. I'll give you a penny to quit right now. 
out. It's not too late. I'm sorry. I'm also a comedian. I can't help myself. Now tell me, if, if people want to know more about this issue and what to do, what, where should they, is there like a website? Yeah, they or? should join uh, GMO Free USA, first of all. It's a GMO boycotting okay. movement started by an awesome mom on the mainland um, to do targeted boycotting. Uh, millions against Monsanto. As far as Oahu is concerned, the islands, that's GMO Free Oahu, GMO Free Maui. There's GMO Free every island. There's Hawaii GMO Justice Coalition. Um, I start an organization called Babes Against Biotech. And so we, we gather all our all our sister and everything to um, stand up and say no to GMOs. We don't want to be poisoned. We think everybody is beautiful just the way that they are naturally. And it's not fair. They're, your rights end when they infringe on my right to eat real food. Don't you understand? So I don't want anything to do with that um, right. personally. And so we're doing everything we can. We really have to go on every single front possible. Uh, these people are really, really drinking the Kool-Aid. They don't understand what they're doing. They're playing genetic roulette with us. They're making GMO babies now. I heard. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. So we have to stand up. we got to get our research done. And really importantly, we need to, um, this resolution, the second resolution is actually 12-138. Uh, and it's requiring and urging University of Hawaii to do research on whether or not the GMOs are killing the bees. That would be that would be great. Yeah, that would be that what, would be really that would be good. something that the U.S. should do. Yeah, we've got to urge um, our city council to uh, address these and vote on them positively. Now the GMO corporations, though, they have been uh, donating money to the uh, College of Tropical Agriculture and Human Resources (CTAR) at the uh, University of Hawaii. So they might be reluctant to do anything that bites yeah, the hand. Yeah, I know that. I didn't write the resume myself, but we've got to start somewhere. We want to, to save our school system. It's already, I mean, Monsanto's already donated over half a million dollars to eBay. Right. Um, it's really disturbing, you know. <laughs> They're in the schools. You know, they go around North Shore donating money to churches. They go into the churches, into Sunday school, and give the kids free toys. I mean, they'll really stop at nothing. They have coloring books. I've seen um, their lobbyists at neighborhood board meetings, and they don't identify themselves as uh, lobbyists at all. They pretend to be a regular old residents and citizens. I think that's really disgusting. Yeah, yeah, kind of like how the uh, GM of Syngenta pretended to be the president of some Hawaii crop improvement association, right, which is right. made up of the biotech companies. It's right. kind of ridiculous. I've got to look up that letter. Was it in today's paper? Yes, it was, and you can have this. I, if I had a hand, I'd grab it. But, <laughs> but I'll look it up. I'll look it up in the. Look now, one more. More question. Sure. One more. Do you have anything uh, next action uh, schedule that that people can put on their calendar and um, check out? Personally, as far as group rallies, I don't. I don't. Babes Against Biotech has something on the 27th okay. at South King Lounge. We're doing a summer session. Uh, we'll be having information about GMOs there. We'll have a crop photo booth and stuff on the 24th at Mission Memorial Auditorium um, by City Hall on the same grounds as City Hall. Right. Uh, Council member Tom Berg of Eva Beach and District 1 um, is going to be having a What's the Buzz About Bees and Organic um, to talk about these two resolutions. Oh, just great. Address. Yeah. And that's so on we'll the 24th. Have, huh? That's on the 24th from 4 to 8 p.m. at Mission Memorial. Totally free. There's going to be lots of organic farmers and beekeepers there um, to give you more information about what's going on and how GMOs are affecting uh, our bees in particular, because if our bees and, um, cannot pollinate, then we're not going to have any food at all. Right. Um, we'll also have a panel. Tom Merg is going to moderate it. Um, Dr. Melissa Yee, Dr. Hector Valenzuela will be oh, coming out. Good. Yeah, we got a couple great speakers. Um, Danny Bishop's going to be there with his tarot. So uh, we have a lot to share, and we want to connect with everybody because we all need to stand together to stop Syngenta. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Good luck.